Hey, what's up everybody? I'm Akeem Lawanson and in today's Fix of Entertainment News, after our first glimpse of Wolverine in the upcoming Deadpool 3 movie, it seems like things might be shutting down given the actor's strike. Now we break down everything for you right here. Plus, some Superman legacy casting news you might be interested in. All this and more on today's Fix. Let's drop it. Now this is definitely something that I think we all saw coming. Deadpool 3's production has been put to a halt due to the actor strike. Now with SAG after now joining the WGA on the picket lines, we'll likely see more major films currently in production stopping until there's a new deal struck with both actors and writers in Hollywood. Now what's crazy is it seems as if production had been moving forward with Deadpool 3 as we got our first glimpse of Hugh Jackman in the iconic Wolverine costume earlier this week. Now Jackman was spotted wearing the outfit first seen within the pages of Hulk issue 180. Now we gotta shout out Ryan Reynolds for sharing that image on his Instagram stories. Now this whole strike was really inevitable, which is likely why Reynolds teased us with this photo to kind of keep interest and hype going while we all sit ever so patiently waiting for the decision to be made with the ongoing actors and writers strike. Now along with Hugh Jackman reprising his role as Wolverine, we also got Jennifer Garner returning as Elektra from the Ben Affleck starring Daredevil movie and the following spinoff Elektra. Now the Deadpool movie was looking at a release date of May 2024, but given the strike, it's likely that it might get pushed back. As of right now, it's probably a good thing the movie has been put on hold until things kind of get sorted out. Prior to this, Deadpool 3 was seemingly in production without a screenwriter one set to aid in any sort of rewrites. But I kind of want to pass things off to you and ask you a question. What do you think about the ongoing actor strike? Do you think things might get figured out soon? And do you think Deadpool 3 is likely to stick to its 2024 release date? Comment down below and let's discuss. Now, in other superhero news, there's even more casting happening for Superman Legacy. Anthony Kerrigan from HBO's Barry has been cast as Metamorpho. Speaking to The Hollywood Reporter on the character, Kerrigan said, quote, this character from what I've learned of the source material, he didn't like the way he looked and I can really relate to that. You know, when he got his powers, he thought it was a curse. That's something that I really felt as well. In my case, I turned it around and saw it as a blessing. So I'm excited to bring that to the table with the character. Now the cast of Superman Legacy seems to be really rounding out as we also got casting announcements earlier this week for Green Lantern, Mr. Terrific, and Hawkgirl. Nathan Fillion, Eddie Gathergy, and Isabella Merced will be taking on the roles respectively. Now with this announcement, we're still a ways away from its July 11, 2025 release date. Now director and writer James Gunn is planning on production kicking off next year, early next year, so let's hope this whole strike business gets cleared up really soon. Speaking of writers, Ayman Vellani is taking on the writer role for a new Miss Marvel comic book series. Now you might know the actor from her portrayal of the character in the Disney Plus Miss Marvel series, also reprising the role in the upcoming Marvel's film. It's very cool and meta to you know, have the actor who portrayed the character on the small screen now take on a writer's role for the character in the Marvel comics. It's pretty cool. Now she'll be joined by an all-star cast of artists to help craft the story and visually bring it to life. Speaking on the project, Villani told Entertainment Weekly, quote, I've never written anything before in my entire life, but I have read many comics, so I just wrote what I would want to read. I was given a very professional tool to write what is essentially my own fan fiction. Wow, well, I'm, I'm not sure how how much confidence that instills in us fans and comic book readers, but you know what? It'll be interesting to see where this all goes. And that was your entertainment fix for today. I'm Kim Lawanson, and thank you all so much for watching. Now that you're caught up on today's news, please check out our previous episode. Download the IGN app on all your devices, and for everything else, stick with IGN.